Hello there. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Welcome to uh, this uh, YouTube uh, video, for, uh, the first in, in the year. Uh, today I'm going to try out something new. Uh, we are going to try out uh, Open SCAD. Now, if you've uh, been uh, playing around with uh, FreeCAD, you know it has uh, the option of uh, using uh, Open SCAD. Now, the way Open SCAD works is uh, slightly uh, different from FreeCAD. In FreeCAD, you're using uh, a mouse to actually create uh, geometry. Yeah, but both of the applications uh, use a technique called constructive uh, solid geometry, whereby you're getting maybe like a primitives like a sphere, uh, a cube. Uh, then you go something like uh, a what? A plate, and then you're merging these geometries to come out with a shape. Now, the thing with free uh, open SCAD is it uses commands. Uh, if you've used, uh, I would say, AutoCAD uh, before, you know with AutoCAD, you can also use uh, point and click, but you can also draw your geometry using uh, uh, commands. But with uh, AutoCAD, that is a 2D program. Whereas uh, OpenSCAD, uh, does both 3D and 2D. Now, since our target is uh, CNC and 3D printing, uh, we shall be going straight to OpenCAD 3D modeling. Okay. Now, before you start with uh, op op open OpenSCAD, you, you need to know how uh, it works. Uh, the windows in uh, in OpenSCAD, we have actually four main windows uh, that we use on the OpenSCAD uh, user interface. So the first area is where you're going to type your commands, this window here. This is where you're going to type all your commands and those commands will be displayed in the second window. Now, when you're creating these commands, you're going to sometimes define variables, right? Once you define a variable, then that variable will actually automatically appear in the customizer. So sometimes you've written your code and there are hundreds of lines. You don't want to fish around for the variables. They will actually come into the customizer and you can always change the parameter values of those variables in the customizer while you're developing your your what part uh, while you're testing it out. Now, when you make errors or once your part is being generated or rendered, uh, you're always going to see it in this uh, other window, which I'll call the fourth window. Now, go ahead, go to openscar.com and then download the program, install it on your PC, and test it out. Uh, don't be intimidated by the commands. Just try them out. It will click in, and once you start using it, things will become uh, second, uh, like second nature. Uh, the other thing uh, I would suggest is also on the op OpenSCAD website, uh, there's a cheat sheet with some commands. Go ahead and uh, download that cheat sheet and try out uh, the commands. So today, uh, so today's uh, examples are going to be simple, uh, really simple. So uh, I can just familiarize people with uh, OpenSCAD, those who are, are starting out. So I'm going to start out with uh, simple primitives. And the first one I'm going to try out is a sphere. And you draw it by just typing sphere, uh, open brackets, and put in uh, the radius of the sphere. 
and then terminate your command with a column. After you do that, you can click on the render button, which is that or that. So you go ahead and click on render and you see you have your sphere. Okay. Now, sometimes uh, depending on the document you're using to draw, they can have they could have given you either a diameter or radius. So within the sphere, if it's a radius, you can say just radius equals 10 and it will be the same. Or you could say diameter using D equals 10. So remember, uh, diameter is going to create a much more smaller value because it's always half, uh, if you take it, it's always uh, half the radius. So if you say diameter equals 10, uh, it's bigger than the radius actually. So uh, the object is going to become uh, smaller. Remember, op if you specify diameter and uh, radius, OpenSCAD is going to actually take the radius as it's the first preferred uh, value. Okay, so it's going to give you an error and it, is, it will tell you ignoring radius because diameter is already defined. We can switch them around. Let's switch them around. And we do this. And then run it around. So it's also telling you ignoring radius as diameter has been defined. So it's using the diameter as the default uh, value. So let's specify our radius and our sphere comes back into view. Now, the first thing uh, people with keen eyes will say, oh, the, it's jagged. How am I going to print this out? It won't be smooth. So within uh, OpenSCAD, they have already thought about this. Remember, their intention is making your development be fast. Okay, but if you have a powerful uh, machine and you want uh, everything smoothed out, you're going to use an inbuilt command called uh, fn, right? So this is going to specify the number of segments you're using within your uh, your model. So let's start with fn equals 50. So we are going to say we are using 50 segments. Let's run that and you see. So you see it smoothes it out. So let's try fn equals 100. It goes on. So let's try fn equals 200. It smoothes it out. So let's try fn equals 300. You see that? It goes on making it uh, smoother until you can get a, a clear sphere but if you're programming and you're interested in speed just put in let's say fn equals 50. Uh, you'll have your sphere once you reach printing you can always use a higher resolution and then output your stl file for 3d printing now that's a sphere uh let's go ahead and try out uh a cube so uh for cube we are not going to use the fn, let's say cube. And then we specify uh, the size of the cube. We can just say the cube equals 10. And that's it. And then we run our render and we have our cube. Now, if you have uh, realized it, uh, we can actually create a plate uh, out of a cube by changing the width, depth, and height. So let's say we want to create a plate that we shall be using in our CNC program and we say apples, and then we specify the list of uh, variables. So we can say, uh, the width will be a hundred. 
the depth will be 50 and then the height will be 5 right and then we call our cube and use the set values as our what our input into the cube command let's go ahead and render it and see how it comes out there we go we have our plate now remember i told you in the customizer if you have gone deep down into you don't want to mess around with your code but you want to test it out how things look like you can see it's telling us okay on your plate you have three variables we want to make it thicker and see how it looks like you can change that to 10 and you see it changes automatically but it's not messing around with your code so you can change this back to maybe seven and it will change the values automatically so uh that's with uh a, a plate let's go ahead and try out something uh interesting so remember we tried out the sphere we tried out a cube right so we may want to come out with a hybrid part and that is going to utilize uh, the cube primitive and then the square primitive right so let's uh, try to use the union command uh, but in this case uh, we are going to take uh, we are going to use the merge the two and then only retain uh, what the two share and then spit out or discard uh, the rest and we can come out with our new part and this command is called a uh, difference command so you specify the difference function just specify the parentheses we shall also OpenSCAD does not have a command to build uh, a torus so what we are going to do is we are going to try to do some trickery some bit of uh, trickery to draw one of them so let's go ahead and uh, get started so we start with our fn uh, command we shall say which is going to be 2.1 and then define our second radius which will be 10.5 and then we shall use uh, an inbuilt command called rotate and extrude it takes some variables uh, number is what we are going to take it takes multiple variables but we are going to use number and then twist and uh, that should give us the trick so and our twist is going to be 360 degrees okay and then uh, we shall be using a square and that square will be 10 by 10 uh, by 10 and then 10 by 10 and the other part is actually zero so and we are going to let's first leave it at that spot okay and then we can also define our fn value and say it's going to be 90 if we run this i made a mistake here so i missed out here it's end of line okay so if we run this this is what we are getting it's like a staircase okay now uh, but uh by changing some of the uh the variable for the square we can actually create a completely different part into this you can always print this but what is this are there some stairs so let's do this let's create a helico uh, by just changing the center value true so 
everything rotates around the center and you get a helical this okay so you can use this trick to create a thread maybe use a triangle and then you use it for creating a thread so uh this is how you can actually create different parts in OpenSCAD just using uh simple commands i think that is good for today i would suggest go to openscad.org uh, download uh, the program it's not really big and then test it out they do have tutorials on there uh, you can use those to uh, test out and see uh, what you can come out with okay have a good good evening bye for now